Hey everybody. Yeah, it's been a while. i just coming at you with this quick tip for those users who have a graphics tablet. Looks like Wacom is the big one that's having issues with. And drawing on the screen with both Inkscape and GIMP how it will lag behind the cursor. There, I found a way through the forums and stuff of different um, websites to fix and I want to share that with you guys real quick today on how to fix the lagginess of a pen and tablet versus a mouse. So right now I got Inkscape up. It's the latest one that I know of. It's not a nightly build. It's the latest stable. And I got the calligraphic pen right here selected. And I'm on a mouse right now. And even then, it's kind of a little laggy and jumpy. Okay, not bad, bad, but it's laggy and jumpy. Let me undo this. I'm going to grab my pen now. And I'm going to now try to draw the same thing. See how it's laggy? I mean, that's going to drive a lot of users nuts. Same thing if I switch over to GIMP right here. If I use any tool that requires the pen. First of all, look at the ruler. See the two arrows that shows you where you are on the page? See how jumpy that is? Now watch, I'm going to press as hard as I can because mine's set for reading opacity and size. Actually, opacity, I'm sorry. See how slow that takes to draw on a on a on a tablet. Now I'm going to switch over to my um, mouse. I'll switch off the tool and back on it. It's not responding. Still thinks I'm on a uh, tablet, which is kind of a weird thing. I haven't gotten around yet. But let me show you the tip that I found. See, we go and do that, and see it's very slow to respond to me. So we're going to undo that. And weirdly enough, this works in both programs. The secret to get your responses back to your tablet is to go over here to view and kill the rulers. Now watch. See how responsive that is? See, I can even do pressure sensitivity. See how responsive that is? It's in real time. So I go hard and soft and you know back I mean and perfect but if I turn those rulers back on oh boy <laughs> see I just did a line right there and it's now just starting it didn't even finish drawing it that's how behind this is so there's something going on with the code that's causing this but again you go to view kill your rulers and look at that just fluid and it don't matter what I grab this is the art the uh, calligraphic pen here. See, perfect. Let's go back over to Inkscape. Okay. Same thing. See, I just did a line. It didn't even complete the line. It went down and up. And see, now, now it finally drew it. But check this out. Whoop, make sure I'm in the right place here. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm having a brain fart today, guys, so just bear with me. Do, 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 do. Show hide, there we go. It's under show hide and rulers. I turn that off. Look how responsive that gets. I mean, I'm just touching and going. And I mean, look at this. I mean, I can even get real fancy here. You know, I don't have the nib changing or anything. I just, you know. Just perfect. Turn them rulers on, man, and all, it just seems like it just breaks all over the place. And yes, I do have the latest driver for my Wacom tablet, so that's not an issue. So it's got to be something in the code in these two programs that just does not like the Wacom tablets for that much. But if you guys need the functionality like to do things like this, you know... You could probably do it with the mouse and get tedious with the curves and stuff like that and, and everything, but it, it's painstaking. I mean, if you're used to just drawing a shape like this, you know, you know, like that, you know, and you just want to just quickly draw, I mean, this is the way to go. Just turn the rulers off temporarily, and then when you're done, just, you know, turn them on if you need them. So that's the little quick tip I want to give you guys today on how to get your pen to be more responsive in both Inkscape and in GIMP. 
and give it a try. Hopefully this will help you guys out. Until the next one, guys.